Hi, my name's Chris Caesar. I'm a landscape photographer based out of my gallery here in York. I'm also an ambassador for the Cancel and Infinity range of papers. Occasionally, something happens out in the world that proves to be a game changer. Um, and I'd like to introduce a paper to you today that's part of a new collection uh, by Canson Infinity. Um, it's a paper, a series of papers that are very exciting because for the first time we've got light papers that have no optical brightness in them. The papers themselves are 100% rag, which means that you get a, a very stable product with a nice sort of a thicker feel, a silky feel. They're all mold made. The mold making process, one of the big benefits of it is that you can have sort of a better stipple surface texture on, on products because it's a homogenous um, result. Sort of think of it as a stick of rock. When you cut into the stick of rock, you can see the words going through it. Um, and also they are, as I say, OBA free. Um, so traditionally, matte papers especially have had slightly warm sort of appearance because companies don't want to put optical brightness in um, but somehow Canson have, have made massive steps forward in this respect and now we've got these white papers that have no brightness in so it's really exciting uh, for the first time ever new avenues have opened up and new options for photographers and I can see it being a benefit to artists photographers alike so I'm going to kick off today by introducing you to a range called Arsh 88. Now Arsh 88, um, the Arsh paper mill, by the way, uh, the English way of saying Arsh is archers. Um, so you can either walk around and call it archers or, like me, try and call it by its proper name for a while. So Arsh 88 is an ultra smooth, high white um, rag paper. And I've done some prints to show you. I've done a couple of prints. I've done a black and white one and a colour one just to see how this bright white paper affects you know, my photography and changes the way that I put an image down on paper. So first thing I'm going to show you is this one. This is a monochrome image, a black and white, um, of a waterfall up in the Yorkshire Dales. Um, now, one thing to notice with this paper is the way the whites have been rendered. Uh, so these areas here, on the other paper that I use a lot, which is the Rag Photographic 310, which is a slightly warmer paper. It's a white paper, but not high white like this one. So these areas, it would be fair to say, would render in a slightly warm tone. This paper maintains the integrity of the whites that were there at time of capture. So these areas are being printed white. So there's no more compromise on that at all. If you need white, you can have white with these papers. Another consideration, uh, this is a matte paper. And I think I've said before, if you really, really want to get some rich blacks down on paper, then you're normally looking at um, the shiny surfaces, things like the Burrito Prestige or Platine Fiber Rag made by Canson Infinity. This paper, although it's matte, it's got an exceptionally high DMAX and it is printing the blacks extremely well. I mean, on this picture, there are areas here in the rocks where you know, there's a gap, a hole, which has come out on the image as black. Here as well, there are some cracks in the rocks, but also we've got these areas of extreme shadow and darkness in the corners. I put a little vignette on this picture just to focus the eye in on the waterfall a bit more. These areas are printed beautifully, and I have checked this against some of the um, gloss papers, and it certainly holds its own. It's a superb result. So with this paper, we can now have basically what we, we kind of have the best of both worlds, really. We can have the performance of matte, and I'll explain in a second why I like matte papers. But we can also have um, the performance of shiny papers with regard to the way it's handling blacks and whites. So it's an exceptionally good paper. I'm really impressed with it. One thing about a matte paper, two things about a matte paper that I like. Number one, with a matte paper like this that's incredibly smooth, I always feel, I might be wrong, that a smooth paper doesn't put any distractions in the way of any kind, any stippling or shininess or speckles. It just lets the detail jump out of the 
of the picture. So people looking at it can see all the detail easily on the print. Another thing about a matte paper that's unique to mattes is that there is no reflections. If you were to put this print in a frame that had modern museum grade UV glass in, A, you wouldn't see the glass, and B, you wouldn't see any reflections on these prints. So if you have an, a room maybe where you're worried about might be a conservatory or somewhere where you've got a lot of lights, like a studio like this one, then matte papers with UV matte glass, UV museum grade glass, is going to change the way that they look and you're going to have reflect, reflection free pieces of artwork. I've also done a, a, a colour print for you. Now with this one, I wanted to give you a bit of a test um, because it's a white paper. I wanted to print a warm image and it's an image I know very well. Uh, this is one of my very favourite images, if I'm allowed any favourites, uh, from a long time ago. Um, and this is a picture from the Northumberland coast at dawn. So we've got these lovely warm colours. We've got some warmth in the sky and we've got some lovely warmth in these dunes here. But these areas are quite critical. This is obviously the sun's behind the castle, so it's been thrown into shade. But the detail is there. I can see all the turrets on that castle. But the key areas are these. We've got lovely warmth showing here. We've got natural colours rendered in the sand. And I guess that the area that's going to be slightly different is going to be this area, where obviously shooting the sun head on, very difficult to control. You're not going to control the sun. So this will probably look a little bit whiter in this area than it would on the warm paper. But the rest of the image, rest of the image has printed just as I thought it would. It's very, very detailed. So it's a paper that can handle monochrome. It can handle blacks and whites, but it can also faith, faithfully represent your warmer images too. So that is the Arsh 88. I don't have a box lid to show you because it's, it's hot off the press. Um, and I've only just received these papers to run some tests on. Um, so hopefully, in the future, uh, we might be able to um, find this in the shops and available. Uh, I know the guys are trying to get it out now. So uh, there are some Arsha's paper packs available where you can get the Arsh range, um, all of the new white papers in there. And there are some slightly warm ones too. Um, so do check those out if you want to ex explore this new offering from the Cancel Infinity Range.